folks, I am back again and I have something a little bit different. And you know, it's funny, I come on every time before any product spotlight or N-Scale Friday and act all suspenseful, but you've seen the thumbnail already when the video came out. So we're gonna take a look at this train set from Atlas. They've got something here that's kind of just for kids and it targets an age group that's kind of underrepresented in our hobby. So let's go over to the workbench and take a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at. It's the Atlas Train Kids Passenger Train Set. This is the Acela train set that's licensed by Amtrak. At the time of this product spotlight, this set goes for $74.95. There are various add-ons that we're also going to take a look at, but what comes in this set is the train itself, which consists of a powered locomotive, some cars, and then an unpowered locomotive for the rear end of it. It comes with an oval of track that's 38 inches by 56 inches, and a remote control that controls this train wirelessly. Something else that's pretty cool about this is the wheel gauge on it is standard HO gauge. So you could actually run this on an HO scale layout if you want to. It doesn't require any power from the track because it's battery operated. So something else that's pretty cool is that the cars couple using magnets. There's no delicate parts that kids might break when they're using this thing. So looking at the back of the box, just wanted to reiterate what's in here. It has curved track sections and some straight track sections to create an oval. And there's the picture of the remote. The train is a total of five cars, if you count both locomotives and the three cars in between. And something that's pretty cool, and I'll talk about this more later, is this part over here. This is for kids ages four and up. So it's hitting a demographic of children that isn't really served that much right now because all of our standard trains, N-Scale and HO trains that adults use, all say the same thing on them. They say ages 14 and over. So on the one hand, you have wooden trains that are for really small kids, and then it goes up to 14 before it's recommended that they use these electric trains. Well. What about between the ages of, say, 5 and 14? This is filling that niche. So that's a cool idea. So I've opened the box. It also has this little instruction manual. And it's pretty straightforward stuff. It just tells you where to install the batteries, that kind of thing. Uh, you do need a small screwdriver, which I'll just... Why don't I just go through the steps and you'll see as I do it. Something else I do want to mention before I do that, though, is if you look at this, it's straight plastic. These rails are not metal. This is all 100% plastic track. So it is, in fact, a dead rail train, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the first component we're going to look at is the powered locomotive. And this is actually a battery car. These two are tethered together with more than just a magnet. If you look in there you can see there's some kind of a little drawbar. So don't try to pull these two apart. If you do you will break it and it won't work. Next we're going to take a look at the cafe car and this one does have a magnetic coupler so I guess what I'll do is I'll just put this on the train and then we'll take a look at the next one which is this business class quiet car and it also has a magnetic coupler. I'm not gonna be able to put this one on there because the train is too long now, but it's our unpowered locomotive, which also has a magnetic coupler on it. So let me just scoot this over and there we have it. That's your, that's your train all coupled together. And why don't we put the batteries in the remote and the batteries in the locomotive and we'll see how this thing works. 
So taking a look at the remote, it looks pretty simple. You have your light here, horn, bell, and there's a little talking bit here. And then your forward and reverse buttons. And then I suppose this is your automatic or emergency stop button. And on the back, you'll see that you need a small screwdriver to open the battery compartment. But something else I noticed on here, which is pretty cool, is it has A and B frequencies. So if you have a couple of kids and each one of those kids has one of these, one can run on A frequency and one can run on B frequency. So you don't have the remotes interfering with each other and kids losing control of the trains that they think they're operating. All right, so you need your little screwdriver. Take the battery compartment door off. The remote uses two AAA batteries. So if you're gonna get this for a kid, you may wanna get the batteries at the same time. It's two AAA batteries for the remote, which I'm gonna put in now, and four AA batteries for the locomotive, which we'll do next. So a couple things I want to mention when we're talking about the locomotive and the battery car, the batteries go in the battery car. So don't take the locomotive apart. <laughs> that won't do you any good. But if you look on the locomotive, you'll notice it has a switch that has A on one side and B on the other side. Remember when I was telling you about the remote? It also has A and B. So you want to make sure if your locomotive is set to A, that your remote also is set to A. Otherwise, it won't control the train. So to get the batteries into the battery car, you just have to take off these two screws here. And it's actually a battery box. So I'll load the batteries in here. So batteries are loaded. I kind of like that. It makes it so that they're less likely to flop around or fall out if a kid accidentally drops the thing or something. These little trains seem like they're pretty solid. I think we're ready for action. I'm going to set up a short piece of track to just run the locomotive and the battery car on like we usually do for product spotlights. But before I do that, I just want to point out the power switch for the train is here on the locomotive. It has a little power icon. So let me get the track set up and we'll do that next. All right, so I have a couple of the straight pieces of track and I'm gonna show you, this is really simple to use. The little peg part goes over this hollow piece here in each direction and it snaps together real easily and real nicely. It's, it's very, very secure. To take the track apart, you just sort of bend it that way, up or down, in the orientation that you see it here, right? If you pull on it, it works too, but I find it easier to just crack it like that. Something I think is pretty cool that they've done here is they've made it real easy to put this thing on the track. So little hands that don't have the coordination that adults have, I mean, it's, it's just that simple. It's railed. Okay, so we'll take a little closer look at the light here. Looks like they're using LEDs, which will help the batteries last longer. So that's an overview of the train set. I should mention at the time of this recording, Atlas is offering free shipping and a free backdrop that kids can color to create a backdrop for their train set. It even has little cutouts to serve as a tunnel portal. 
So let's take a look at some of these other accessories that are also available. So the first accessory we'll take a look at is the powered locomotive and first class car with remote. So once again, you can operate two trains on the same miniature toy layout, and this is one way to do it. You can get this set and add a car from the existing train and maybe the other car that I'm about to show you in a minute. But the point though is that these are available separately. At the time of this video, they have this set of the powered locomotive and first class battery car for $39.95. And here's the other piece that's sold separately, the business class quiet car. At the time of this spotlight, this is $9.95. And I think what the theory is here is you can buy the battery car with the powered locomotive in case you break the one that it came with. And then if you want to run longer trains, you buy additional business cars like this one. Another cool accessory they're offering with this train set is the figure eight expansion pack. This gives you enough track when used with the track that comes with the train set to create a figure eight setup like what you see in the video here. This goes for $19.95 at the time of this video. So I've been saying throughout this presentation here today that I'm pretty excited that Atlas is producing something that's geared toward a very underrepresented demographic in model railroading, that being kids between the ages of 4 and 14. Because all of the so-called real models that companies like Atlas make are geared toward children 14 and up. So that means us, guys. And uh, this is something that a little kid could actually work. It's very durable. It's very easy to handle. It's giving kids a chance to get accustomed to the HO standard gauge size. And I like the idea that it's also presenting them with a remote that gives them the opportunity to not only control the train, but to control lights and sound as well as kind of a gateway into DCC. So I think they're doing something really cool here. And I'm looking forward to seeing what other expansions or different types of locomotives or trains they may end up coming out with. Because I think if the success of this Acela set is good, there's a good chance that they'll come up with other things like freight trains or whatever. And that would be really cool, especially for kids that want that kind of thing. So if you're shopping for a kid on your Christmas list, put this down. You can get the whole thing for under a hundred bucks right now. And the backdrop was being given as a freebie. If you go to Atlas's website, they have a link that will take you to this train set and they do have some specials running. So if you want to grab one for Christmas for a child, you know, or maybe you have more than one child who's interested in this kind of thing. It would be a great time to get them started in their model train adventures. I'll catch you next time.